All right, we have another allied final here, just frozen at the start. By the look of it, we have uh, Penny Germany, Napoleon Italy, Kron Toker as Spain. So pretty similar to last game with Italy and Germany playing the same roles. Kron Toker was Russia last uh, game, and this time he switched sides, wants to go on the Axis side. And we have uh, Chris here as UK, Goliath as France, Boobsucka as Norway, and then Frost as Russia. So he normally has some very creative Russias and uh, frankly fun to watch. Using sometimes air, sometimes unique attack patterns. And it looks like the teams are ready to go. Do we have seven H's? Uh, well, you gotta do it now there, Frosty. Greece saying, we don't want to be attacked. We're gonna attack you, you Italians. Nicholas Cage will not save you now. And they managed to get a fair bit of the tanks. Only one remaining, and that's what you want to do when you want to ch do that type of play. Unusual though, that's why I pointed it out. BC being brought back up. Norway gathering the troops, going for the Finland take. Standard Algiers coming up. Factory going to be taken by that SCV, building a supply depot. Belgium has been taken. Interesting by France to uh, spend resources on the defense. So here going for a mixed bag. Going to try to defend at Belgium for as long as possible, do as much damage. Looking for at least a 50 kill count. And uh, that was a good quick attack by Penny uh, as Germany. And he's going to be very happy as France uh, used resources, not able to get the buildings out. And uh, it's still going to be a fairly low kill count uh, for France. Uh, but that will rise uh, if he does not keep his air around here. This is just enough troops to hold Germany. But Spain is a little bit late on the attack. Probably would have liked to come up 10-15 uh, seconds earlier. But Germany realizing what's going on and brings the BCs back. Realizes France still has an army. 35 kill count so far. Good job by the Axis. Spain is going to have a large amount of his army left. Barely losing anything. So he can be aggressive. I hope he is. Uh, I would, uh, if you're Spain and you uh, and you t uh, have this many troops left, go ahead and start uh, maxing out uh, the money on dropships. And there you go. He's got he's got uh, one dropship going, and he should build three or four more right here. Cleared out the Med Island very early. It's a good job. It's going to bring the barracks over and start prepping for that Med. Probably just a depot. Yeah, could have also built another barracks around here. Many Spains like having two barracks on the go, but uh, I would most certainly be getting a fair bit of these dropships, and there he goes. Uh, by the money that he has, he's got at least another one or two on the go here. Dropships part of the air armada. More air being made. See what the upgrades are so far. One attack upgrade. No tank upgrades yet. One one marines. Frost a little bit slow on the marine upgrades. Everyone is still very rusty. This is May 2018. A lot of players they haven't played in uh, in a couple of months. Great pressure being put on here. Very careful with the BCs. Going in, going out, going in, going out. Probably should have left at that point. Now they're going to die. Reinforcements on the way. See how many Messers they end up getting. Not that many. Germany has the air advantage. Russia's bringing in the ground to try to overwhelm. Raf is coming in. 
That is going to be enough to make a difference. Let's see them get in here. they got to come and take some shots. These two BCs are weak. There's three there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that. He was just dropped. Excellent placement here from Krontoker, going right in the middle of the country. Looks like six or seven drops. Not even, not even bunkered. He's going to be very, very happy. This is going to break the game wide open. This is the type of big play that you need as Axis to be able to go ahead and secure yourself the W. And Kron Toker makes it. This all started from uh, saving those troops at the beginning of the game, not losing anything in the France take, and uh, then being able to counter that quickly with a drop, uh, all before Med. Very, very uh, impressive here from Kron Toker. Counter drop here from Boob. It's going to be close. It's not really overwhelming for us. Upgrades are even. And the air and just a little bit more ground is going to be enough. And still grid value here from Spain. Very carefully, these are being lifted out. Excellent from real Chris. Save those important buildings. Pretty much the most important as UK. Really, there's uh, no other building that you quite need like the airport. Brown Toker going to go with that last city. Still going to be getting a good amount of gold. Does have the city, has the industry. These two as well. 4,300. But everything after this is going to be much less if France continues and if they have a push here. This is extremely slow take here from Chris and Goliath, not even breaking open the, the Egypt yet. And the drop and the air will be countered. Goes ahead and builds that second barracks. Wants to hold Africa as well. Interesting to see if he uses the wall over here. Most people prefer to make a new one over over in this area or over here in this area, but you do have a bunker. You build one, two, three. You need about three bunkers there. Big push coming here from the Allies, just a little bit late. Frost has done a little poking attack here in box, just clearing out buildings. Makes when you do attack so much quicker. Excellent bunker take. Tanks are getting a lot of value. Germany protecting this trigger. But I had to go up there. There you go. Camp the uh, the raft trigger. Excellent map timing there. Manages to save the shuttles as well. Big score. Very, very useful units. Well, nice little wall down here, but it's going to be pretty short work for this Russian attack. These tanks are not going to be enough to make a difference. Russia should be able to clear out this building. Very importantly, this bomber command. When he sees that Germany has brought down his science vessel, he knows he wants it. He took the other one out. No more BCs for you, Mr. Penny. It's Norway. Interesting to have his drops down here. Flying right through the most heavily defended part of Turkey. Ouch. 
Dude, is this two drops? Ouch. He sees at London. Make sure nobody gets that tax. Uh, but he did get the Norway tax here, as indicated by his gold. 5,900. I'd love to bring a building up to here. Italy, if he's dropping here, he's got to be prepared to hold it. Spain, if you see that, maybe you can drop Ireland. Maybe you can go over into USA. You wouldn't like that with all the raft there, but it is a target. Flamethrowers have been bought. It'd be a nasty surprise for... Norway when he drops for sure he's gonna drop it and there's some fire bats of his own as well Italy does have 2400 this is Napoleon he does like to make four bunkers along this side here you can put one up here you can put one down here I actually kind of like one up here Stalemate here. Russia not wanting to be passive. Definitely nice to see in the last couple of games Russia's that are not afraid to attack. We haven't seen anyone back sitting back so far. Since this recent resurgence here in May, this is a third day of games in a row. And for a game released in 1997, pretty good. Three three BCs, going to clear some of the ground. Nice little bit of uh, micro here. You have a choice to swing up into Norway as well at this point. And it's just going to make it easier for when the Axis do decide to attack with, uh, with their ground units. Now you can go right into the heart of Russia without even having to kill any more buildings. It's just trying to hold this until 2, but doesn't appear like that's going to be possible. And they're going to lose a small skirmish as well on top of that. Oh well, can't win them all, Napoleon. You do win your fair share, though. Four Italian VCs still up. Spain's putting pressure on Norway. Going to try to get the tax. They absolutely did. 1,000 right over to Germany. Very key. This is a real good showing on how to play how, how to play Axis and put pressure on the map against the Allies. And uh, it's, it's what's necessary when you want to try to win uh, against the odds. And 4 on 3, as we've discussed over the years, the 4 is always going to have the advantage. And uh, despite even recent changes to the map, Spain getting a, a little bit of an upgrade. Same with Italy. BC is getting reduced a little bit. But uh, you can still win. And here we go. Kron Toker is prepared for this drop. Gonna need to start repairing soon. Does he see it? Does he see it? I think he sees it. Italy's down here to help. He was going for the drops, only four remaining. Make that three. 
France is getting crushed here in this attack. He engaged on this. And now Germany is going to go ahead and clear out all the rest of the area. He's going to try to get to some of these BCs. And Axis, with taking UK, is now crushed the French army and has firm control of Africa as the Messers go ahead and start to sweep. But no, they're not like the Swiffer guy. They, uh, they don't sweep. So they, uh, they just take out the army and come on back. 24 Messers. Looks pretty close to 12 BCs with this France one. It's probably around, it's around 11 it looks like. A couple of options if you're the Axis right here. Definitely uh, USA would, would be a primary target. Secondary target would be Norway. Go ahead as uh, Spain and you can drop this area. Yeah, that'll probably be the safe. You should bring the BCs up, drop this area, go on up, engage in the fight around here. But let's see what they're doing. They're going to go the USA option. UK might have got a peek at them. Very close. No defenses. Going to be a clean take. See if he keeps the dropships around to drop Canada, or if he's going to take them, retreat them out. Okay, sees he got the island. Should probably reload right now and drop north, but either way, he does have this. As he's doing that, Axis is pressuring. Generally, you want to pressure with all three countries, but they are so uh, confident, and they're you know they ha they have gotten this little lead. They uh, they're just going to go right out. They're just going to do a small little hit. And that's good to keep the RAF on this side while Spain goes ahead and starts taking territory around the map. And I like that little move. You uh, you, you smash the, the army, lose very little of your own. Meanwhile, take, take USA and uh, D-Day trigger as well as uh, up in Canada while you're holding Africa here. Probably will want to invest in uh, two more bunkers, but either way... Uh, France is going to take a long time to rebuild, and that's what he's building. He's building Dragoons. Probably should keep a drop around to get that east SCV up here, but let's, let's look around the map. Russia's got one attack upgrade on the tanks, 3-3 three, three on the infantry. 3-3 three, three for the Italian infantry. And three on the uh, on the tank attack. Very confident play from Napoleon. Investing in his tanks. Got them all healed up. Air's coming around, but there's going to be no D-Day trigger because of the Axis control of USA. This death ball of Messers, which only can really be stopped by the entire air army of the Allies. And they're going to try. And with drops, definitely if they fight over land, they can win this. But over air, it's still a question mark. Norwegian army taken out completely. A little bit of miscommunication. And then the fight's going to go on. Germany's not using all of their air forces towards this air fight, so it's going to be possible to win from the Allies. Uh, the air is split. There he realizes, oh no, and he's going to try to get whatever Messers out. And excellent air battle from the Allies. Boopsucker dropping down here, causing 12 of the Messers to follow him, cleaning those up, while the Russian and English air took out the air. So, no longer a Axis advantage. That was a very important battle. It has swung back over to, uh, now it's fairly even. Despite, uh, despite all the BCs, there's 12. Probably has a few more. But no Messers. Italian carriers, very superior on the air side still. But, We'll need a turn to build up those messers again. Making a play to go up 
to take this tax, and he needs it. He's got to go now, though. I'll put the bill in. There it goes. Very calculated play here from Penny. Understanding the game mechanic. And they're playing the macro game. 5,600, and he needs that for Messers. There he goes, I guarantee you those are all Messers, those are all Messers. Bunker all, quite strong. Even stronger is the tank army that Napoleon is wielding. Super important for Goliath as France to take out Africa. If he's not got pressure uh, from the south of the, of the, the map here, then uh, they will lose most certainly. Frost having enough, taking his tanks, bringing them out towards Turkey, going for the long game. No extra investment here put by Krontoker. This is, is this his drop? No, that is not his drop. There it is, line gets taken out, but the rest of the army will be destroyed from Germany. Nice heads up play from Germany to make sure to take out the rest of the army. Really sucks to lose all your tanks again, but here he goes. Penny really needs to be microing these. Goliath taking out everything he can. And he should be able to funnel more resources into Africa. Now Turkey's taken. He'd really like for U uh, UK to get the, uh, the money. He does not have uh, much of his former territory left. Turkey can take uh, Algiers, but you'd really want uh, UK to pick all this up. Very heads up play with the Protoss wall. Penny and Chris are definitely two of the people that like doing this. So while the ground is shooting it, shooting it, shooting it, your air can stand above it and shoot down at the Marines as you do have more range. USA getting taken out. D-Day would swing this heavily towards the uh, allies, they really need this, but if they trigger the D-Day event, they have to protect it. Here's Germany already there. Italy really should bring up his marines, maybe a, a turret or two. Definitely one here, maybe one up there, sometimes two or three here is good. Very heads up play from Chris, calling out that the trigger is camped. No point activating the trigger if you're not going to get any men from it. More than likely France is, well, you, this would get destroyed, but quickly cleaned up by the air. Spain going to put some pressure. Good size drop. Very heads up play from Frost here, getting his tanks up into the fight. Probably losing a few more than he'd like, but getting in on the action. Well, cleaning up the Spanish army, but it did its point. Cleared out all the buildings. Took pressure off of east. Oh, good play from Quran. the turrets go up. They realize that they need to get their lend leases here. Means he's, uh, it, UK needs to take an industry. Uh, but you only want to do that when you can get your air out of here. 
They're going to like what they see. There's the call. Good communication. Doesn't look like they're on Discord or else they would just be talking about this, but... This will change the game. Let's see how much he gets. There's the four. Okay. And which... He's going to take this one with this SCV. He really should do it now. Kind of waiting a little bit too long. He's got the money. He just need 300. He's got 750. Frost is going to attack, though. He's maxed at 211. 5,000 gold in the bank. This is what this line does. You have to kill it, and it takes time. Meanwhile, Air looks like they're going to be fighting. The Axis is engaging on this. They do have the carriers out. This is going to be an overwhelming victory for the Axis, and what an amazing game. This team of Penny, Napoleon, and Krontok are all playing excellent at their roles. Just a real good highlight. I am going to be posting this with a, uh, this is kind of an Axis how-to. And uh, nice Axis win. Uh, good job, guys. Nice early drop from Kron Toker. Napoleon was able to stuff Frost here on the east as uh, uh, in the Italy versus Russia matchup. And then Germany, not losing his BCs, stopping the attack on east, and then swinging right over to UK to start putting the pressure on the Allies. Love the transitions. Good job, guys.